this Thursday, George Bush chose Admiral James Watkins to be his energy secretary, William Bennett to be drug czar. And a new government reports that it will cost $81 billion to modernize the nation's nuclear weapons plants. We'll have the details in our news summary in a moment. Robin? After the news summary, we have excerpts from the George Bush News Conference, then a discussion of the Department of Energy report on nuclear weapons plants with Ohio Senator John Glenn and Assistant Energy Secretary Troy Wade. Next, a report from Houston on the way radio is making a comeback. And finally, a documentary look at some Aboriginal art in Australia. There was more factional fighting in southern Lebanon as rival Muslim militias battled for control. It came as Israeli jets pounded Palestinians' target in the area. We have a report by Roderick Pratt of Worldwide Television News. It was the second time in 13 hours that Israeli warplanes crossed into southern Lebanon to attack Palestinian guerrillas. The target was the base of Abu Nidal, an extremist blamed for several attacks against Israel. The Israeli army didn't say whether the raid was successful, only that they'd had no casualties. A short distance away, the families of the Amal fighters denounced the Hezbollah. The two rival sects have been locked in vicious combat for several days. The village of Jabbar was still smoldering from a concerted attack on Thursday by the Amal, who were forced back under heavy fire. At least 140 people have been killed in the latest round of fighting, which broke out on New Year's Eve. The stakes are high. Both groups want to control Lebanon's Shiite community, which numbers one million, making it the country's largest sect. The pro-Iranian Hezbollah want an Islamic state along the lines of Ayatollah Khomeini's. The less religious Amal want a more secular government with power shared among Christians.